Yo man, what do you do YouTube with your boy Shu and I'm coming at you with another banger man So look in this video bro, I'm coming at y'all with the best new badge glitch in the game You know what I'm saying bro, this is a current gen glitch But look, I will have an next gen, you know what I'm saying, glitch dropping soon You know what I'm saying, so stay tuned, you know what I'm saying But look, I need y'all help bro I'm trying to hit 1k as soon as possible, you know what I'm saying So help your boy out, you know what I'm saying, you drop a like and sub but You know what I'm saying, I'm grinding for y'all boys And without further ado, let's get straight to the video on to the glitch right now and on to what you're gonna be doing so this works on both consoles you know what i'm saying the only thing that will be different when i go into the you know what i'm saying application say data management steps uh, all you will simply would do if you're on xbox is delete from console because people were saying in my last video oh this does not work i'm dumb and all that because i didn't tell them what to do for xbox it's my fault but that's what you would do anytime you see me do advocate save data management you just delete from console on xbox but anyway uh now that that's out of the way let's get started now to start this glitch what you want to do is head over to my career right then you want to go, you know what I'm saying, select the My Career. Then you want to hit Start New My Career, okay? Now, you want to launch the uh, My Player Builder or whatever. Now, trust me, I might be saying, bro, I got to make a new player. Oh, my fucking God. You know what I'm saying? It, it Listen, it's going to be 100% worth it. Trust me. But anyway, look. But for you guys, it will be different. Y'all will create y'all real player, you know what I'm saying, when doing this. So, look. As you guys can see, you're just going to skim through this, you know what I'm saying? Cool. Cool. Once you get done completing your player or making your player, it will show you what you made. And then you simply, you see this like four little things right here. These four little things right here. You want to simply go up to the top and hit start my career. And once you guys, you know what I'm saying, hit start my career, we'll say, would you like to skip the intro to my career and go directly to the NBA? You want to click no on this, okay? You don't want to hit yes. You want to click no on that, all right? And then once you click no on that, it will begin to load. Okay, now look, once you guys get past all those cutscenes or whatever, now, um, you don't have to upgrade your player, now, not right now. I'm going to tell y'all when y'all can do all that, you know what I'm saying, upgrade and all that good stuff. But for now, what you want to do when you get to the screen right here, assembly, you see it says East High School, uh, East High Eagles or whatever. You just want to hit continue on this. And look, all you guys want to do, you know what I'm saying, when you get in this game, all you're going to do is file out of this game, you know what I'm saying? We not going to play this game at all all you're gonna do is foul out now if you guys don't know how to intentionally foul it's the big button that's in the uh, middle of your playstation controller on xbox it's the button the select button you know what i'm saying all you're gonna do is foul out of this first game so yeah that's just what i'm about to do and i'm about to fast forward me doing it so yeah i'll see you guys once i'm done fouling out all right now as y'all can see i have officially fouled out once you foul out you know what i'm saying the game will just immediately and you know what I'm saying, once you hit X now, you don't get, you know what I'm saying, you know, you get your little badge progression or whatever, you don't get no VC or nothing from that, uh, that game, that's not the point, you know what I'm saying, basically, you're gonna foul out every single game until you get to the college game, so listen, if you guys don't know what the college game is, I'm just gonna fast forward, and I will be there, so just pay attention to the fast forward, y'all know my fast forward is gonna take no time at all, so, um, like I said, all I'm gonna be doing through the fast forward, guys, it's fouling out, you know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna fast forward because I don't wanna waste y'all time and y'all can hear me repeating the same step. All you're gonna do is foul out until you get to your second college game, okay? So that's just what I'm about to do and I'll see you guys when I get there. Okay, now look, I know I told y'all, you know what I'm saying, you would foul out every game. I forgot to tell y'all, uh, when you get to this game right here, you know what I'm saying, the high school game, it's gonna be your third high school game because then your second one, you got injured or whatever, and you will be presented with this cutscene right here. You know what I'm saying? Basically, and, uh, once you guys get past this little cutscene right here, you know what I'm saying, it's basically gonna be showing your player cheering on the team because you won't be getting put into the game as you guys see him doing right now. You will then be uh, presented with a choice that you will have to make. And uh, the choice screen basically looks like this. It will basically ask you, do you wanna take the risk of entering the game? Now, obviously we're not gonna do that. We wanna pass by time as quick as fast, well, as quick as possible to get to the college game. So we're gonna simply hit stay out of the game, you know what I'm saying? And we're gonna wait until we, you know what I'm saying, get into the, um, the college game and whatnot. So yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys that, but anyway. So yeah, I just wanna tell you guys that, but anyway, let the fast forward continue. I'll be right back. Okay, now once y'all get out of that last little invitational game, y'all will be presented with this screen right here. Now, it will ask you what team would you like to go to, you know what I'm saying? Now, I prefer that you go either to the, the Texas Tech Raiders or the uh, the Gonzaga Bulldogs. Now, in this instance, I'm going to go to the Raiders uh, just to show y'all that this does work. So, what you want to do, once you pick one of those teams or whatever, you can skip that cutscene. Then, as you guys can see, you will be brought to the Texas Tech University screen, your first college game. Now, you're going to do you're gonna do the same thing we did in, in the last one, you know what I'm saying? But this is the last game, I promise y'all, that y'all will foul out. Now, after this game is where we will officially, you know what I'm saying, start putting that, that good work. I promise you, it's 100% worth it. Go ahead and drop a like if y'all made it this far, you know what I'm saying? Because you, you're an MVP, you know what I'm saying? And plus, you finna make it to the promised land. So, go ahead and drop a like. I promise y'all, y'all going to benefit from this. So, yeah, I'll be right back once I'm done uh, fouling out of this game. 
Okay, now y'all, my bad. I forgot to tell y'all that y'all cannot file out of this game. You know what I'm saying? Just let this, you know, just let the time run down. You know what I'm saying? It's completely fine. Uh, you know, and I tried to file out already, as you guys can see, I have five files that should take me out of the game. But if you look at the bench, it's completely nobody on the bench. So you will be playing these games. So just, you know what I'm saying, chill for these little, I think the game was like six, seven minutes. You know what I'm saying? Just chill, uh, play around and just wait around. But you just, you, you don't want to do, you're not going to be able to do the glitch in this game. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to be able to benefit from it at all. So I'm just going to finish this game. And once I get done, we will start, you know what I'm saying, the glitch or whatever. So yeah, I'll see you guys once this game is over. Okay, now as y'all can see, once that game is over, you know what I'm saying, you're in your second college game, now here's the time if you want, you can go to your progression, you know what I'm saying, you can upgrade whatever you want. I'm going to just put up a little bit of rebounder, you know what I'm saying, for this dude, and because uh, that's all I'm going to really grab is rebounds or whatever. Just to display, you know what I'm saying, the badge of progression that you guys will be able to earn uh, by doing this. Now, anyway, once you guys get to this screen right here, you don't even necessarily have to use progression. It's still so easy to do things under this difficulty that's why it's so good uh so yeah anyway once you guys get to the screen right here just simply hit continue i'll be right back once this loads up all right now listen guys once y'all get into this game you know what i'm saying you will have 20 minutes to do whatever you need to do you know what i'm saying if you want to shoot it you're gonna shoot the ball you want to finish it you're gonna slash that motherfucker you want defensive rebound you know what i'm saying defensive rebound you're just gonna grab rebounds play a whole lot of defense play making gonna get a whole lot of assists now you got 20 minutes like i said so it's two 10 minute quarters and uh yeah you're just gonna basically ball out have a really really great game uh for those two quarters so yeah once i get done doing that i'll be back to tell you guys the next step in this glitch so yeah i'll be right back i'm gonna fast forward and i know it don't take no time i'll be right back Okay, guys, now y'all see, once y'all get, you know what I'm saying, the second quarter, you want to have the ball and let some seconds wind down. Now, before you do the next step, here's what you want to do. Let it get to three seconds, as you guys see that I just did, and call a timeout just like that. Once you call the timeout, okay, it's a dead ball. So what you want to do is hit start, head over to quit, right? And then you want to go to save and quit my career, okay? Once you hit save and quit my career, we'll then load you to the play now screen. Okay, now once you guys get here, all you want to do is simply hit the middle button on your controller, go into your settings, Go all the way down to application save data management. 2K21 will close out. Now from here, you wanna go to save data and system storage, upload to online storage, select 2K21, find your file. If you guys can never find your file, you know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll be sure to tell y'all this every single time. Y'all file should be at the top, but if it's not at the top, the date is there and the time is there so you can find it. But once you found it, simply select it. Then you wanna hit upload and it will begin to upload and it will be very, very quick as you guys see. Once that is done uploading, hit the middle button once again, a little shortcut, then load back up 2K21. Now see how once it loads up. Okay, now once you guys get back in here, you will see that uh, I tried to make it so that it will be three seconds or whatever. But when, once you guys get back in here, all you want to do is simply let the game, you know what I'm saying, run out and let the seconds run off. So that's just what I'm about to do. And I'll see y'all once I get done doing that. Okay, now as y'all can see, the game is officially over or whatever. Okay, cool. Now look, it's going to tell you what you got. It's going to show you everything that you got. Pay attention to where my uh my player points is at, 9.1. Pay attention to where my finishing at. And look, look where my defensive is at, okay? Y'all see I got a whole badge and y'all see it's right there sort of in the middle. But anyway, once your VC loads up, and you hit X one time and that goes away, all you wanna do is close your application. If you guys know how to close your application, just hit the middle button, uh, then it will bring up, you hover over 2K21, you hit start, and then you will hit close application, and just close it, and then you wanna load it right back up, okay? Okay, now look, as y'all can see, once y'all load back up, it will be, the, you know what I'm saying, the same game or whatever. Now, I'm just gonna let these seconds wind down like I just did uh, before. And as you guys can see, you're going to be able to continuously get progression from this game. Now, look, you're going to be able to do this, um, I'll say, eight to nine times, okay? Eight to nine times. But let me just get to the point just so y'all know I'm not capping or nothing. Let me just fast forward a little bit real quick. Okay, cool. As you guys can see, the game is over. And now, remember where my, my player stuff was at? Look, now I was at 9.1. Now, look, I went up a hole. I went to 17 point seven and now my finishing is almost to a whole badge my playmaking is going up as well now y'all remember when my defense was at right that's a whole nother badge and look i almost i got two badges now for defense okay once again as you guys see once this comes up uh yo this little menu disappears hold on boom like that close your application just like you guys just seen me do once again and load it back up now like i said you can do that eight to nine times okay i'm gonna show y'all something that's really really cool with this so i'll be right back once this loads up All right, so as y'all can see, I loaded up for a third time, you know what I'm saying? My progression is still going up. 
I still can get progression from this. You still gonna be able to get progression from this. Like I said, you can do this, you know what I'm saying? This little wrestle repeat thing eight or nine times when you're closing your application or whatever. So look, I'm gonna show y'all the best trick, the best thing about this, okay? So look, y'all see how we we in this game, right? You know what I'm saying? Yada, yada, yada. It shows you the team's interested uh, in you and all that once the game is over. Here's the cool part about this glitch. So once you guys get to this screen right here, as you guys see what this screen, once you get to it, it will have an option right here that says go to the neighborhood. And that's what you guys want to do. You want to hit yes on that. Now look, this is going to be so like you can play any NBA, you know what I'm saying? Once you're done, like like uh, getting your progression or whatever, your progression stops from uh, the glitch or whatever. Now listen, as you guys gonna see, once we load up, let me just load up real quick, hold on. Okay, so look, y'all see, I'm in the neighborhood or whatever, cool, play next game, I can start up any of these games. This is for when, let's say, you know what I'm saying, you're doing the glitch and you did it eight or nine times, got your progression, and it stops giving you progression. Every, you know what I'm saying, 12 hours, okay, here's what you guys will do. You can go to the NBA, you can play or whatever, but every 12 to 24 hours, here's what you would do. You would go into your settings, Go down to FK Save Data Management, 2K21 will close. Now this time, head to online. Uh, we go to FK Save Data Management, but this time, we don't go to Save Data and Online Storage. Then we go to Download to System Storage. Select 2K21, select the My Career file that you uh, uploaded, and download it back to your console. Hit Apply to All and hit Yes. Now, once that is done, all you guys simply want to do is hit the middle button again and load back up, and I'll show y'all what we did. And as you guys can see, it puts you back in here. You know what I'm saying? Now, going back here, let me just say, if you go to the NBA, it does not take away none of your bad progression that you earn in the NBA. It does not do none of that. It will just uh, gingerly add on to it. And you can continue getting your progression from this. Like I said, once you're done doing it every eight or nine uh, times, that's when you go to the NBA, get more bad progression. Then once 12 hours is up, come back here, get your 89 progression again, go back to the NBA, rinse and repeat just like that and get the most bad progression possible, bro. So this is going to be the best badge that's out right now on uh, current gen.